Uh, Gabar Shapar, he said rap was denying you how shy too. That's right. Yep, uh, yep, rap the news. Yep. And it was a rap. The Lord said, hey, wrap it up. Hey, Lord, wrap that <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Wrapped wrap him up. up. Like uh, Chappelle, wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. Yep. Oh, look, look, look. We got that. It's June. <laughs> Ain't no Michael <laughs> Chip. Hey, do y'all brothers know? I think you put yep, me on. Yep. Do y'all brothers know that June is the National Michael Chip Month? <laughs> bro, the Lord is uh, uh, unmatched bar none. You can't, bro. Think about the humor of the Lord. Yo, this is hilarious. Keep going. Uh, nope. Back in Second Peter's, but there were false prophets also among the people. Oh, let me read this. The water, brother. First Samuel two and twelve. Now the sons of Eli were sons of uh, Bel. They were not of the Lord. Yeah, they were sons of Satan, man. They were sons of Satan. Yeah, brothers are going in on here. Keep going, brother. Oh, it says, but there were false prophets also among the people. Hey, you know what this proves, brothers? This proves that y'all are Yahweh Shai sheep. That's right. Because you follow Yahweh Shai where he goes. It's not, you're not following us. Hey, you know how many times I see brothers on our, our camp and then I'll go to a camp when I'm done and they'll be on their comment. Yep. You know, man, man, you got a lot of beautiful brothers out here. You yeah. know, you got a lot of beautiful brothers and sisters out here. Hey, they're part of that body. Yeah, straight up. Your family. Yep. You know. Oh, we'll get it real quick. There are many parts of the body. First Corinthians 12. That's Is it? That's one of my favorite going into, man. I love, I love that because... Hey man, you you hurt you hurt a small piece on your body. You'll see how every part is important. You know, you got it real quick. I start from the top. Oh, uh, can you just get the point, Baba Kishan? Right, yep. There's many operations. Yep. You know what I mean? Just the point, because I want to focus on this, because you still had uh, the other scripture too. Right. Uh, First Corinthians 12 and verse five, and it says, and there are differences of administrations, yep. but the same Lord. Yeah. And there are diversities of operations. Yeah. There's diversities. Some brothers are set up just to bring the precepts. Hey, some sisters just set up to endure and say shalom. But guess what? Th that precept or that shalom, you know, keeps that brother. Because, you know, sometimes a brother could be, you know, I ain't nobody watching the videos. No, yeah. man. And then that'll boost him. That'll boost the spirit up. You know, remember Thomas had a feel. Yahweh Shai. He had a, he saw, he said, touch, man. He has to see and feel. Yeah, touch it, bro. It's all right. You yeah. know, we get it. He had to see and feel him because Thomas wasn't there. We're See, what we're learning is perfection in the spirit, you know? Because a guy could be the best ball player, but he's got a terrible attitude. Or he's not a team player. Or he's not a team player. Selfish. See? So we're learning to be team players. And that's the scriptures. That That's right here. The body's a team player. Watch. You can read it. And it says, <clears throat> verse uh, 6, and there are diversities of operations yep. but it is but it is the same power which worketh all and all there you go many many uh, uh offices but the same body mm -hmm. you see so that's what we're we're learning all right is the body of 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 yahweh shai with him being the head and, and, and then you guys you got guys got called one body in yahweh shai now they're called one body of israel so they're denouncing yahweh shai yep. you know Keep going, and then you go back to your point you had. Keep going, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm saying that was it, but oh, okay. keep going. Yeah. Uh, back in Peter's, it says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. And they got a spirit to, to, to condemn themselves. Here it is, they don't know it all, but they'll have the spirit to, to comment. And, yeah. and, and argue with you. And then they teach with those dark ass shades on, that shit is eerie. You know? Yeah. And then the name of the channel is Black Watch. Come on. Man. Order all in black. What's up with all this blackness, man? On it. Yeah. Evil. And it's then you, they got black circles around their eyes. Yeah. This guy literally got black circles around they his got eyes. No light in them, man. Right. You know, it's very soft. It's the man, the water for the elders. The yeah, bro. And their elders. Yeah, too. bro. You know. Hey, when I came in, I had a lot of uh I had a lot of demons trying to stop me from uh um you know watching Great Millstone. I had a lot of demons, man. And this was around the time of the flat earth demon. You know, I had went out to Cali. And that was when that happened out there in L.A. And they got kicked out. You know, and the people I was staying with, they had a problem with Great Millstone. You know, they had a big problem. And that's a lot of times what happens. They become spiteful. Yeah, that, that demon swept a lot of niggas yep. out, man. Yep. I remember that. Yep. But hey, if the earth was a flat, don't you think it would be a tourist attraction? Yep. You don't see yeah, that. yeah, like come to the edge of the earth. Coming this Sunday, Sunday, the edge of the earth, you know? Take a family trip. Right. Why ain't the moon flat? You know, why ain't the sun flat? And when you say something, because remember the simplicity I was shy? When you say something, sim yo, the other day, this chick was like, uh, 
she was uh, people be saying bugged out shit to me. You know what I mean? I just I just you know let it roll. But sometimes I'll say something back. And they're like, yeah, I believe the earth flat. And I was like, I was like, why is the moon not flat? And they're like, oh, that's a good point. And the conversation ended. <laughs> See? It's got to be washed. It got to be guided. That's all. It says, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresy. Yeah, this guy, I went to the, the UPK. I went to their, uh, their class. And he was privately telling me how uh, if I got a woman that they got a teacher. Are you stupid? That's a daughter, basically, bro. That is. It's a daughter. It says, let her uh, learn at home from her husband. But you going to tell me that I got to bring her to you? Are you kidding me? You're an idiot, man. You got to say it like that. This dude's bugged out. So you know what I did? <laughs> I wrote down the wrong name and the wrong address. Because as they did, they make you write right. down your name and address. I wrote down the wrong name and the wrong address. And I was like, ah, ah, this Sabbath's coming. I got to go. And they was doing everything to keep me there. So I, was like, I, gotta, I was like, well, what's the mark of the beast? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I got to get out of here. Yeah, bro, don't don't even tempt. You know, don't even go up to these camps. You know, they go by. Oh, tell them. All right, keep it pushing. Don't even go up to them, man. It's very evident that they're infiltrated, man. Yeah. You know, yep. all of them. Yep. You know? Yep. It says, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. And if there's any uh, demons amongst uh, Great Millstone, the Lord's going to get rid of them. Plain like that. You causing schisms, you know, it speaks about schisms. You causing issues, you you putting you putting heartaches on brothers, you trying their patience, the Lord's gonna boot your ass, man. Cause we not here for that. Alright? We we here uh, uh uh for the kingdom, man. You know? If we already gotta deal with a long journey, and if you trying to make it longer, your ass is gonna get booted, man. You know? It says, even denying the Lord that brought them. And bring upon themselves swift, swift destruction. Oh, swift. swift. A swift ass whooping. You know? Hey, that's beautiful. And I I I be yearning for that swift judgment. You know? Hey, we really yearn for judgment here. You know why? Because there ain't no judgment here. I'm always crying about that, you know? Like, yeah, you got laws, you got your little legislation, you know, you got your little judicial system. But where's the moral laws at? You know? As long as you stop at a stop sign. You know, you you don't uh 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 you know you don't break any laws, but you could be a complete demon. You can you can dye your eyes black and paint your nails and oh change your 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 gender and be a complete demon out here. And the cops are like, well, we can't do nothing. You ain't a righteous. You're not righteous, America. And you know what America has done? America has tricked you, Jakes, thinking that it's okay to be wicked. You know, that uh, a sentence against the evil work because it's not executed speedily. So probably around the first times you started calling on Christ, you probably were looking over your shoulder. You know what I mean? Like, Christ. And then you realize that you ain't get judged. You f it fully set in, you know? Or you, you had sex on a Sabbath and you ain't get destroyed. When the Lord didn't chastise you, so yep. you ain't a son. Yep. Ooh. 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 Scary. That's scary. And then they got a, a show called Scary Hours. Verse 2. And many shall follow up. Oh. Their, Their pernicious, pernicious ways, <laughs> by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Wow. Man. Hey, man, that's why we got to embrace, you know, embrace the uh, the hate, <laughs> if you will. You got to embrace being a light bearer. You're an attack. You're going to be under attack. It says that he that departs from evil maketh and himself, himself a prey. Yeah. So you're a prey out here, but embrace it. We got the Lord. We got y'all by some outside, man. We're undefeatable in the spirit. While these guys are trying to uh, win carnally, we're winning in the spirit, man. You know? Uh, back in Jeremiah chapter 5 and uh, verse uh, 7. And it says, excuse me, verse, uh, 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 slide at 26, my bad. It says, they lay wait as he that sit of snares. They set a trap. They catch men. You know how they trap you? They trap you with the Passover. They trap you with the new moon. They trap you with unities. They trap you with flyers. They trap you, man. And they got you. Yoink, got him. Remember we were driving and we caught the Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man damn near almost got hit by a car right over here. Yep. He almost got hit by a car trying to bring a flyer to, to a sister. You know, she looked good, you know, but we were on the way to camp, you know, but he's seeing her and we caught him. Yeah, yeah. I yelled out the window. I was like, you don't know she got a woman. Uh, yeah, he left post. He left post. He was across the street. 
He left post to bring her a flyer. He ran. A flyer. Then he came back. Slack you. I was on flyer duty. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. He's not for women. Right. Yeah, it's brick out here. Sister's learning at home. And let him stay home. What's she going to do with that flyer? She needs to be taught. You know? And it says... Um, therefore, excuse me, uh, verse uh, Oh, and let me say this for the sisters You know, like we got that one sister that comes up She's cool, you know And we told her, because we was going deep into history And she was like, where do I get, we, you don't need to Just like you sisters, you know yeah, it's, it's cool that you, you know, you're learning But there's, there's a lot of things you don't need to worry about You don't need to know how to break down Revelation 9 Yeah, you need to, you know What prophecies are coming But you don't need to know how to break them down And let me go in the blue letter Oh, and give me that arc that's a demon on you. And I'll be seeing there's actually women out here that got that demon on them. Right. They're trying to be little elder pals of ours, man. <laughs> you got a weak ass husband too, you know? Yep. And it says. Yeah, I said it. Hey. You know? So that means you got a weak ass family. Yep. So you got a weak ass household. So your whole your whole work is built on sand. That's right. You know? Yep. Verse 27. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of the sea. Therefore, they are become great. Yeah, their houses, their camps. Like this is what? The hopeful elect. Lord's will be the house of David, you know? So this is what? A house, spiritually. It's a spiritual house, you see? So their houses are, are full of deceit, you know? Because because Jake is, is very sincere when it comes to their culture. So they, they in simplicity, they embrace whatever's happening. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they accept, you know, the, the, the little, the red flags, if you will. They'll accept the red flags because they're like, we're just so downtrodden, and we got to get together. But what you don't realize is that's just another uh, 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 platform of destruction. A trap. It's another trap, bro. It's another trap. It's another money grab. Another dead end. Yep, it's another dead end. And it goes on to say, therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. Because they think gain is godliness. So they become great. All right. So they get the matching everything. You know, and you know, I was meditating on that too. Hey, we're the only uh, church out here still wearing uh, the, the sackcloth. The scriptures tell us that we're supposed to be in sackcloth, okay? Not a t-shirt fringe. Where's your garment at? Right. And that proves, oh, uh, get uh, Revelation 15 and 16. Hold that though, please. But get Revelations uh, 15 and 16 real quick. Let's make a point because through the spirit, we, we mentioned the garment. A garment is very important. Oh, and that's why they won't have a cloak for their sins. Right, yep. You see? Very important. Very vital. Revelation 16 and verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he now, that... Now, what does that mean? I come as a thief. What's that mean? I mean unexpectedly. Just like a person isn't expecting to be robbed. That's why they come home and they're like... Like, um... Old girl and a uh, white man can't jump. Sydney Dean's yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She they took everything. Yeah. They took everything. They took the crib. She, it was unexpected. Like uh, uh, next Friday, yeah, yeah, when yeah. the old boy came in, yeah. he was sleeping. He yeah. was knocked out. They were, and Craig wasn't expecting to get robbed. The president was gone. The, the rent money. He said, who rent money? <laughs> he said, sit your ass down. Because yeah. they're not expecting it. See? So, But guess what? We're expecting Yahweh Shai. You know Watch that because we're not asleep. Yep. You know, and, you know when they uh, when they get robbed, they're what? They're asleep. Yep. Beautiful. You know? Great point. We're not watch. Yep. That's great. Keep going. And it says, "Blessed is he that watcheth." Going back to the blessing. Oh, remember, bless your eyes. See how the Spirit brings all these beautiful precepts out that line up together. Brachet the outside. You know, it's not us that speak. It's the Spirit of the Father who speaketh in you. Keep going. And it says. And keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked. What's the garment? What's your garment? This truth. That's why it said that Adam and Eve were naked. That's a cut. That's a cut. Is it, are there men now here physically naked? Right. You'll get arrested. No, they're naked spiritually. If you're calling on Christ, you're naked. If you're calling on your higher, you're naked. If you're saying the Sabbath is Friday to Saturday, you're naked. All right? Now, when you first come in, that's why Paul said, let no man judge you. Because you got to be built up. I myself thought the Sabbath was Friday and Saturday. Right, right, right. But okay. guess what? Brothers had patience with me. They taught me. And then I received in the spirit, oh, it's not? And it was, it was heavy. But in the spirit, I, uh, it, it made sense. 
See? So you could be naked unbeknownst to yourself. You know? Let's read that again. That's a, that's a heavy uh, verse. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. It says, As a thief. Yep. Bless is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. You know, oh, bless is he that watcheth. So you got to be watching, man. You got to be on your watch, you know? And that's the spirit the Lord puts on you to be watching. You know, like me, myself, uh, I watch folly, but I watch more uh, uh, biblical things. And then I'm, I choose to watch, right? Don't I say that? I'd be like, bro, you want to watch some folly? Because, yeah. you know, you're not just going to be sitting there all day. Ah, you know, but I enjoy that. Me personally, you know what I mean? I, I'm still a young brother myself. So, you know, I, I enjoy watching what's going on, what brothers are posting, videos, who's scoffing. You know, I watch comment boards, too. I like to watch who comments on videos, and then I see them on other videos. I, oh, okay, I see you. So you you got your hand in the cookie jar, right? Right. You yeah. know, <laughs> we'll be watching. Yep. Keep going, and it says, "And keep his garments, lest he walk naked, yep. and they see his shame." And that's what's coming. Shame is coming for you. You see, because the garment that you're supposed to have is the garment that the Lord made. Oh, uh, Revelations 19, the bride with yes. the white garment. Yep. Let's get that real quick. You see, so all these guys are going to be found to be in a shameful spirit. All right. Now you'll be okay in the kingdom, but right now you have to deal with that shame. Like we have to deal with humility right now. You know, we got to deal with being low. We got to be deal with being the so-called black sheep of Israel. GMS, the most hated group. We'll take that because Yahweh Shai was despised and rejected among men. So we'll take that because the time is coming. Where the Lord is going is going to give us what what what's coming for us, the disciples' reward. Right. You know. It's guaranteed. Yep. It's a guaranteed win. Revelation nineteen and verse seven. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come. Yes, the marriage. That's what this thing's about. Didn't you always say I said there's a, a marriage? Bid them to the wedding. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Bro. Right. Do y'all know, <laughs> bro, bro, it's getting bad out here, bro. <laughs> Do y'all not know that we're out here declaring a wedding? Right. We're out here declaring an inter intercontinent, intergalactic wedding. You know, a prophesied wedding. And the elect have an RSVP to that wedding. That's right. And you got a lot of bugged out, wicked ass, Sunday Baptist worshiping jakes all trying to get into the wedding. You're not two thirds or nothing more than wedding crashers. They're nothing more than wedding crashers. You're not even set up to be in. And then you got Jake acting like they're the ones uh, uh, the wedding's for. Yahweh Shai is the groom, man. You know? Right. Yahweh Shai is the groom. They don't care about Yahweh Shai. Man, they got an evil eye against Yahweh Shai. That's crazy, man. And he still died for you. Man. And you're still going to be in the kingdom. Which proves the laws ain't going to save you. What about that? What, right? All Israel's going to be saved. But all Israel ain't going to live by the laws. What about that? Mm -hmm. Keep going. And it goes on to say, For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife had made herself ready. And oh, and the what? It says, And his wife, the elect, has made herself ready. Where is it? Matthew 10? The, yes. After that, let's read all of it. Okay. Let, let's get all the meat off the bone because we're hungry. So the Lord is cooking up a meal and we're going to eat. All right. We're out here. We're going to eat in the spirit. You know, keep going. And, and, First, uh, you get the five wise and five foolish. You want to grab that, brother? Matthew 10, I think, when you get a chance. Verse 8. Verse so, 8. So we're in the days of Noah. We're getting, we're getting. Oh, okay. We're in the days of Noah. We're getting ready for a marriage too. Remember, right, they're right. eating and right, drinking right, right. and giving to a marriage. Right. Well, we're giving into a marriage too. But the marriage we're giving into is Yahweh Shai's marriage. All right? Verse 8. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in the fine linen. Uh, and what's the fine linen? This truth. truth. All right? The, the, the nastiness of the scriptures. Right? You know? The bitter and the sweet. Keep going. Clean and white. That's the, that's the breakdowns. Yep. For the fine linen is the righteousness yep. of saints. Oh, see? The fine linen is the righteousness of saints. All right? Keep going. Verse 9. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Wow. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of the Most High. There you go. 
So we're getting ready for that marriage, man. So the Lord is calling out, you know. You got that, the virgins. Yep. And then can we also get bid them to the to oh, the yeah. wedding? Okay, I got, I got you. okay, you get them, brother. I get the bid to the marriage. Okay, well, yeah, let's get those. Let's read that real quick. <clears throat> this is uh, Matthew 25 and 1. Ooh. Let's go. Then shall the kingdom of heaven. Can you, what's the ledger say? Uh, wise and foolish virgins. Which that proves, because if they say the elect's got to be virgins, so what's that? If that proves it's, it's a parabolic. It, the, the elect, it, the, the, the elect are being called virgins parabolically. You know? Yeah. It says there's so many things I'm thinking about, like the centurion, his daughter, he wasn't a virgin. She got healed. Uh, uh, Peter wasn't a virgin. They said we put away wives. He, he's uh, the church is built on him. He ain't a virgin. Hey, there's a special judgment for not only deceivers, but those that have deceived using the Bible. Remember, he said, uh, they'll come from all the world to hear what I got to say. If it's from this book. Yeah, that's America. That's the world you would have created. Yep. You See? Know? Yo, the, through, in the spirit. Yo, we're in the future. Ain't no more room for simplicity. How long will you love simplicity, man? We're in the future. Right, though? It's 2022. Damn. We should be expecting uh, 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 greater things. And we, we you should be expecting it here first. You know? Not uh, uh, some some new stupid ass ice cream, you know, or some new sport. Like, damn, bro. yo, the mirth is so gone, they have a national pillow fighting championship. I you know that? that? Yeah, I seen that. A national pillow fighting championship. The other day, I watched a UFC heavyweight championship uh, match, and it was like maybe 100 people in the room. Do, like, do you know what that would have, you know, the level that'd be five years ago? The mirth is gone, man. If you're making a music video in 2022, you're not a man of the Lord. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. You're making a music video, bro? What the heck? You know? You got it. Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Yep. Now, what 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 would a foolish virgin be doing right now? A Making a music video. There you go. <laughs> not not getting. It. Here it is. You're so we're betrothed. Oh, that makes me think about the law. When a woman's betrothed and a man's trying to take her, yep. you better scream out. So if you ain't screaming out, sighing and crying, then you you're not. Uh, you don't got the mark. So you you embracing being raped. You're embracing America taking you as a people. So they've embraced being taken. And now the children are going to be taken too. You know what Liam Neeson said? You know? And Yahweh Shai, he's taking us back. You know what I mean? He's taking us back. Read that again, please. There's a lot of meat in there. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, yep. which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Oh, the lamp. What, uh, uh, what, what was the indicator the Holy Spirit rested on the, the uh, disciples? Remember the fire? Yep. Well, the lamp, the flame. Let not your light, uh, sh uh, let your light shine before men and don't put a light under a bushel. So we out here, baby. We ain't under a bushel with it. And you could be, uh, you got a lot of scoffers. They'll, they'll scoff and their lights on their bushel. They'll be on a comic board, but no, no videos uh, uh, on their channel. Right. That's that's hiding your light. They're hiding their talent. Yeah. You know? Right. You know? Yep. If you don't use something, you lose it. Yep. So the Lord's gonna take that talent yep. from you. That's why when a thought comes to my mind, I hurry up and write it down. Yep. You know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, because yeah. when I first came in, I, I wasn't in the spirit uh, of like just all. I would remember. I remember. But it's yeah. like so many things are happening. It's like just write it down. Come back to it later. You know. Write it down. Just speak about it later. You know. Keep going. It says, and five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Yep. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Yep. They, what they take? They took the staff, they took the t-shirt with the fringe, and they left the garment. You know? I seen a video of these guys. I'm not even going to say their name. I saw a video the uh, uh, Esau's being carnal. The dude took his garment off to fight him. I was like, that's spiritual. He took his garment off and then to embrace carnality? 
Ooh, that's scary, bro. Yeah. That's scary up here. You don't want you don't want to have a conversation with a guy like that. You know? Keep going. It says, but the wise took oil in their vessels. Is it meaning what? They they cleaved to the elders. They cleaved to the brothers. They 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 got built up so they could become a flame, so they could be a fire, so they could be a light unto the Gentiles. You see? Right, right. You see? Keep going. It says. Oh, and then King David, uh, he said, uh, uh, you anointed me, my cup runneth over it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. With what? There's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right? Yep. Which you know? that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding will be your stability in the days to come. 100% true. Yep. 100%? You know? They got 100%? He was scoffing at it. Baloo. You know? He's gonna scoff till he's blue in the face. Yep. Keep going. It says, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Yep. And at midnight, there was a cry made, behold the oh. bridegroom coming. Remember he said, uh, it will be where no man could work. The yep. day will come yep. where no man could work. You see? So we're getting ready to come into a time where we're not gonna be out and camping. You know? We're, we're, it's gonna be major prophecy. All right, and we're gonna be what? Hey, I always meditating on you. How is I return? You know, I'm always thinking about, you know, and it charges me in the spirit. You know, thinking about you. How is I coming back? Knowing that that's you. How is I knowing that finally our Savior's here, man? He's finally here. You know, it's one thing, you know, to see see it in your mind, believe it in the spirit, but it's another to see it in the flesh. Like Thomas. Like, well, like if the Lord came back right now. Oh, man. Uh, you know? yeah. Bow. We'll be, you know, Bow. We'll be doing the work. Yeah. Right. You know? yeah. It says, verse 6, And at midnight there was a cry made, yeah. Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Woo! Man. Go ye out to meet him. You know? Hey, we're out looking for the Lord right now. You know? We're out here looking for the Lord right now. We're hastening the coming of our Lord and Savior. We don't want to be here in this hell hole. Hell. You know? We don't want to see our people here, even down to the wickedest. We don't want to see animals here. You know? We don't want to see this, this, any of this continuing on anymore. Keep going. It says, Then all the those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. That's what it's about, trimming. Meaning they turned up. Yeah. You know, what did the apostles deem this year? The year 22, the year of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua turning up. Yep. You know? Yep. And everything's turning up. Everything's turning up. This is why you're seeing so many false prophets and teachers being exposed. This is why you see the spirit turning up on them. You know, this is why you see the prophecy turning up. Everything is turning up. It's getting hot in the kitchen. The kitchen of prophecy is cooking. You know? Can you smell? <laughs> what is cooking? <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Which and it was spiritual that he was called the rock and his enemy was Austin John three sixteen. You know what I mean? So it was John three sixteen yep. and the rock, you know. It says And the foolish said unto the wise What they say? Give us of your oil. And that's when uh in their affliction they shall seek me early. You know? They all wanted to do their own thing until they got their ass whooped. Well, guess what? Hey, go to the gods you've chosen, bro. Right. Uh, what's the name again? Yeah. You know, too late. Yeah. This is going to be too late. Now, nah, go, uh, you better go read Leviticus, you know, Mr. High Priest. You right? Where's your fringes? Where your fringes at? Right? <laughs> Straight up, though. That's going to be the Lord uh, cold, derision, yeah. mocking you. The wedding garden. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It says. You're right. You got that? The wedding, go to the parable of the kingdom. Yes. Yes. Let's go into that. Let's talk about. Yeah, I was shy at his wedding, man. Sick and tired of talking about puny ass humans. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh yeah, Shai is with us, you know? And the foolish said unto the wise, this give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out. They've run dry. There, there ain't it ain't hitting no more. Ran out of gas. You can't you you can't live off calling Esau the devil all day. Right. You know? He can't, bro. It's not hitting. He knows it. That, that spirit's changed. Right. You know, watching the videos, eating Mike comes up and gets cut. That's why these guys, they're like forcing it. You got these new weirdo guys. They're, they'll teach at night, which is spiritual. They'll teach at night, and then they teach in front of like bars and shit. So they're yeah. specifically yep. teaching to interact people that are drunk. <clears throat> what is up with that? You know what I mean? That's a weird spirit to be in. That's a wayward doctor. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we'll keep going. I got you. Oh, All right. Say Matthew 22 and verse 1. Yeah. And the house shall answer and spake unto them again by.